Good evening, everybody. And just as I start the video, the watch is going off. So what are we going? Oh, excuse me. The burps are real. No, I did not tell you to do anything. All right, what's going on? Ah, I don't know. I might not do it because they do bring a good point. There's the key. Sorry, I am really distracted. This is like propane. Oh, it was a grinding noise. Um, good lord, guys. Can I just do my rounds, please? <laughs> All right, so, sorry. Super distracted. Um, back here tonight, another night of rounds. This room's good. Um, we're gonna be starting to go through the uh, systems in the classrooms, checking the host names and everything. Um, should still have that file that he sent me. I should now be able to pull that up on, uh, on my computer. I'll need to get Teams installed. Um, yes, so. We'll be able to get that. We'll be able to do that. And we'll start going through the DMPSs and touch panels in various classrooms and fixing all the uh, host names if they need it, checking everything, making sure it's up to standard. Um, I asked about doing firmware while I was doing that. And they said, yes, but if it's not broken, don't fix it kind of thing. So yes, everything does need to be on the latest firmware. Uh, for security reasons and stuff like that because uh, actually here recently there was a uh, firmware that was put out relatively recently I say uh, to fix some security issues but the problem is updating the firmware would put certain things out of working order and we can't do that so it has to be all on the uh, all in working order so don't update firmware unless required, kind of thing. All right, man, all these rooms are on 276. Is it just lights in here? Interesting, cause. All right, so it was being controlled from the other switch then, I think. Uh huh. And zone one on, and zone two off. Duh. So, yep. So we'll start that tonight. I got my laptop. Had to make a trip home this weekend, this past weekend, because not only was my car absolutely stuffed full of scrap, lots of literally full, um, floor to ceiling of wire and front to back. So floor to ceiling, front to back, it was stuffed full of wire. So, needed to drop that off and I needed to go get my computer, my business laptop, my spare laptop that is a business laptop. So, let's start that. What's going on in here? Nothing in here. over here. Nope. Go ahead and pop the lights. So, all right, let's take a look in these rooms. Nobody in here. Drop the lights. This room's on. 
I'm not gonna check Mike Cottrell right now anyway, uh, mainly because reasonably certain that uh, that all the host names are correct because we literally just did them a month ago. A month ago, uh, two months ago. So reasonably certain that they're all correct. Oh, excuse me. We'll uh, probably eventually check them, but don't need to do that right now. Uh -huh. I knew I saw a blue light. All right. Let's leave them the signature file, shall we? I need to put it on a flash drive, honestly. All right. Who is it? I won't show the names. <laughs> Ironic. I don't know the person, but I know um, Alright, so, yep, I always like to leave a note telling them, please remember to log off the computer. It's not hard. It's literally just two clicks of a mouse. Security vulnerability. Granted, it's only student access, but still, what was that? Really, guys? I mean... I'm not going to bother with them, but come on, that scratches the screens. This room is on. Blinds are down, or halfway down, so we'll raise them, reset the classroom. I don't see any papers out, so there we go. Uh, so yeah, on the uh, note of checking equipment with names, I think, I think I'm going to do, who touched our TV? Somebody touched our TV. Oh, look at all the handprints, man. Ah, I need to get that too. I'm not gonna do that right now though. Can we? Thank you. Please don't touch the TVs. Um, I'm gonna start over in. Uh... Oh, really? You're gonna play that game now? Uh huh. Yeah, it's gonna play that game. Okay, it's gonna play that game. Um, yeah, we're going to start, I think, over in Memorial. That's a little disconcerting that glass vibrates like that. So, because it's only got four, so that's not going to take long to do. We're going to start in Memorial. We're not going to do them all tonight. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to... What would be the best ones to do, given the time? Given the time is 10.09 p.m. at the time of speaking. All my exercise goals. I hit them a couple of minutes ahead of schedule. Nice. Um... Memorial has four. It's, hmm. Ooh, honestly though, the first one's going to take a few minutes because I've got to download Teams. I've got to download the, um, the heck? Marker cap. So what marker doesn't have a cap? There's got to be one. They all have caps, so I don't know where that one goes. Maybe they threw it out. 
Um, lines are here. Professor Parker, please call your mother and wish and wish he, he, a happy second 50th birthday. A happy second 50th birthday. Do you mean to tell me that you're saying that your mother is 100 years old? Or are you just saying that a happy second 50th? Yeah, uh, logically speaking, a second 50th is 100. So, mate, <laughs> what? Anyway, yeah, it's going to take a few minutes to do Memorial. And realistically, I'm probably only going to be able to do a few each night because I don't want to be out past midnight. So, and like I said, I'm getting, it's 10 o'clock now, almost quarter after 10, so I'm getting started a little bit later tonight. So, kind of already lost an hour, you know. Um, had a few schoolwork things to do, and that takes priority. So, hmm, we might just do the four memorial, just to check. I don't think there were any in there that actually needed fixing, but we'll see. In the, uh, data file that I have or that I was sent in Teams. If I remember correctly, it should tell me which ones specifically are not named correctly. And we should be able to do those. So we'll see. We'll see when we get in there. Should have done that this afternoon, but it just never occurred to me. Also, it just occurred to me that I don't usually take the stairs anymore. Also, see that the blinds are down, so I can't see in here. And the system is on tonight, so this is why we check. So, interesting story today. Um, had a, should be that one, right? Yes, that is, really, what is that? What's the white? Is the white another blind? It is. Look at that, that's two different blinds. Okay, didn't know that. It's interesting to know. Uh, anyway, yeah, interesting story. So, coworker, boss, supervisor up the chain uh, of mine had a critical today. Well, come to find out, some bonehead unplugged the HDMI from HDMI cable from the controller and the computer when. My boss went in, or my uh, coworker went in to fix it. Student spoke up and said, oh yeah, I uh, borrowed that from my dorm room. Um, excuse you, dumbass. Those aren't yours. Basically, is what he said in a very nice way, was, oh no, you can't do that. Those belong in these cards. Student replies with, Oh, but my tuition paid for it. I'll pick up this story when we get to Memorial. Give me a minute. Let me get over there. All right, over here at Memorial. Apologies for the camera angle. I'm having to, one hand for the keys, obviously, one hand for the uh, camera and ethernet cable and computer under the shoulder. So let me switch this here. So let's get to work. I'll resume that story in just a moment once I get once it gets set up, give me a moment. We're gonna start over here in 205. So, let's turn on a light. So, I'll set the camera here. Oh. All right, that is really annoying. What is preventing it from, oh, it's. Uh, 
Oh, that's just annoying. What is this? Alright. Okay, so yeah, we have to plug it in the back. So the main reason I don't want to take too long tonight, uh, like I said, was because it's already a little bit later than normal. Um, good, this one's locked. And because I have food thawing in hot water in the sink at uh, the apartment. So. Uh, excuse me. Hey. All right. Oh my gosh, that's a rat's nest. Alright, before I plug in officially, me. Okay, this is just gonna kill me. What what is preventing this from closing? This is ridiculous. Honestly, it is ridiculous, but I have really no way to prevent it. No way to prevent. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So, all right, you know what? Since you're not... Yeah, that still won't work because this is too tall. Okay. Oh, the pains of being in IT. All right. I'll just bring the camera out, put you here. Let's boot up here. Um, anyway, story time. Yeah, so students said, uh, oh, well, my tuition pays for that, so I can use it. Uh, not how that works, buddy. So, co-worker said, yeah, no, you can't do that. That's not how that works. These are owned by the uh, department. That is not the correct pin. Um, so... Student then proceeds to call coworker a bigot of all things and such things, and eventually culminated in him saying something. And my coworker just says, "Well, bless your little heart." And in amongst all the exchanges, per students' friends sitting around him piped up and said, "Yeah, we told him not to do that." And coworker was like, yeah, y'all are correct. He's not allowed to do that. And so, yeah, uh, download teams. And so, yeah, I said, bless your little heart. And then this kid was like, what? He like had no idea. So it was absolutely hilarious. And yeah, that happened, but essentially the reason such a thing happened and this was up in uh h and s the reason that happened was because that a p has an orange light i think that's an issue interesting that person huh. um the reason that happened was because the back of the cabinet was unlocked. Well, they're not supposed to be unlocked. I mean, logically, obviously. Um, so, the reason it was uh, was because um, the lock was broken. So, uh, yeah, we, we're going to have to f do something about that. Don't really know what to do yet, but yeah so that happened that was that was really funny um serves that student right for thinking that he's a spoiled little brat no i did not tell you to do anything oh my god duo what the hell?
Oh, you're now you're not going to do it, huh? Oh, yeah, I bet you it's connected to a bad AP. Yeah. Uh, no, sign into this app only, please. So. Um. Goodness. Oh. Another embarrassing funny thing. Uh, for me, anyway. Was... My friends finally peer pressured me into getting a onesie. Yes, I'm not afraid to admit that on camera. So, we went to Walmart. So, we had a little vacation thing with my friend this weekend um, at the Apple Festival and all on LJ. And that was really cool. I really enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to turn the camera towards me while I pull this up. I don't, I don't want to share names if I can, if I can avoid that. Um, so yeah, we went over there over the weekend and my friends peer pressured me into getting you, getting you, into getting me a, uh, me getting a, um, onesie. So that happened. Okay. Why did it download two of them? What is, teams, Jesus, stop. X ADR. All right, sorry. I think uh, I think the battery went dead. I think I forgot to change this battery out. So, camera cut off. Um, having an issue connecting over Ethernet. So I found out I can just view the host name of the touch panel directly on the touch panel going through our super secret settings. Um, so I'm just going to do that, and I can always plug into the DMPS just fine. My watch is buzzing. Interesting up as oh that's cool yeah so uh, my sister's boyfriend is going through a hard time right now I had uh, um, a death in the family so uh, she's gonna do a real sweet thing and surprise him for Halloween so hopefully you don't see this um, mate but uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna say exactly what it is but uh, just in case you do see it, but yeah, anyway, so I've connected over USB, so here we are, Memorial Hall 205 DMPS, that's good, that's it, so I think we can connect to it, USB, and serial, that should be the log in right so yeah sorry the camera's a little weird with this because i have to like set it down i can't show things certain things um yeah let's just double check everything here Uptime, 117 days, 2 hours, 39 minutes, and 3 seconds. I don't know if I've ever had anything up that long. Um, yep, host name, Memorial 205 DMPS. So this one is good. Um, we can, if I'm correct, just straight unplug. Yeah, because it's we'll go through Discover Devices again when we get to 207. So let me also unplug from the DMPS down there. Everything else is closed and locked up. I uh, don't have anything else with me. Um, so yeah, that's what I was saying. The battery went dead in the camera, so I went back and got a new battery and USB cable for connected to the DMPS. So this room coincidentally is on, and I just freaking realized. Um, I left the lights on in the other room, so let me go turn those off real quick. Let's turn them off. Let's see, it's... There we go. Alright, let's get in here and do the next one. 94% battery. It's this one, the keyboard doesn't just stay open. <laughs> so, I'm gonna put the camera here. 
we're going to go ahead and load our admin menu here while uh, and let that start loading while everything goes on. I won't show how to do that, obviously. <laughs> we don't want to make that public. Here we go. So, plug into our DMPS down here. Uh, hair in my face. Plug in our USB cable. So, discover devices. We'll put that there. Turn the camera away so I can log into the touch panel here. So, can I, I want to do Ethernet setup, I think, set host name, that's what we want to do. So, Memorial Hall, dash, and this is 207, dash, TSW. Let me double check, make sure this is 207. Before we confirm, I mean, before we set. Yeah. The 207. 207, TSW, save. Apply changes. Applying network settings. Okay, so that sets the touch panel, save and exit. That will do its thing. So let's come over here. Yeah, see where it says DC? We don't want that. It stands for Delonigo Campus. But yeah, let me turn the camera away. Oops. Um, so we don't really like using that because the other ones, they just, because they're already organized by campus. So if we like double organize it like that, it just puts it out of order on the list. So let's see, it says DC Memorial Hall. I think I can go in here to ethernet settings like I did on the touch panel and switch that out to basically get rid of the D DC. Um, while that's loading, let me come over here and go to my uh, sister's text. Alright, why are you taking so long to load, buddy? going on here all right we'll take that out let's get to that dash mh 207 dmps uh so when i change the host name it's gonna reboot oh boy Oh, I forgot that was going to happen. If I change the host name, it's going to reboot this DMPS. So that's a thing. So let's see what happens. Hopefully nothing broke. Touch panel came up and said disconnected. So it's not going to, it's not going to do anything. These, none of the buttons anymore assigned to anything because there's not a program running down there. So we're going to have to wait for this thing to reboot. Um, yeah, that's a thing. This could take, should only take a few minutes in a perfect world.
knowing these though, it's probably going to take five to ten minutes each one, I bet. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Anyway, what else is going on? I don't really know. Hopefully. Waiting for the device to initialize. Alright, should be able to put you here. Take a look at the screen. Okay, don't go to sleep on my computer, I need you. Did he go to sleep? Did the computer really just shut off balls? Yeah, don't go to sleep on me, please. It's just another manic Monday. Device is not sending heartbeat packets. Yeah, we know. It's because it's reloading. Goodness. I haven't seen come on, uh, turn on on the touch panel yet. Or connected, I should say. So, I think we're still booting up. Yeah, we're still booting up. It's still f got flashing uh, input light and no flashing message light. Yeah, I actually programmed one of these for my senior project. So, um, basically, because I knew I didn't have, well, obviously I didn't have, I don't have any experience. Well, I didn't. Can't talk tonight. Didn't have any experience. So I was like, look, I don't know how any of this is supposed to work. Um, I need a simple senior project. Why not just do this for my control? Learn how to work. Well, what I was able to do was I was able to get with my boss, my supervisor, and he was able to send me a program, a um, the standard program, and he said, here, see what you make of it, and he sent me a really basic one to uh, play around with, um, to familiarize myself with the controls, with the um, stuff, touch panel says connected, Let's turn on PC. Okay. We should. Let's redo Discover Devices here. Um, so I played around with the ultra basic, super simplistic one, and there we are. So you can see right here under my finger, MH. So there we go. Host name has been reset. Host name is working. So let's unplug. Uh, unplug. Close the cabinet. Let me put my phone in my pocket. We'll go ahead and turn the system off because it was also left on. Uh, it said connected. Why? Oh, this is probably going to take a minute. It is possible I could have to restart the touch panel. But it's a still made. It's a little bit of a step for some nuts and you know shit. Well, that's it's a still made. It's a little bit of a step for some nuts and you know shit. Ah, there it goes. Wait, stop. No. Shut down. There you go. Okay. Alright, so let's take it. Well. Drop the lights. Go in here to 208. All right, let's get ourselves a light. Now let's verify. It's a lumen Let's get Might as well turn the system on real quick. And a more efficient way. Oh, look at that. The computer CD drive is open. Alright, 
Dvaj predručki. Alright. Let me turn the camera this way. So, you don't see. Um, so yeah, I did this for my senior project. And so my boss sent me basic and a complete, the regular program that we use. So I spent some time, oh goodness, thank goodness. Um, spent some time with the basic program first, familiarized myself with the various screens and options. And then I went and took a look at how that applied in the complete main program. So what do we have here? Host name. Ah, see, okay, here we go, look. Here's one of ours that has a host name of the MAC address. We had a few of these. So what we need to do is Ethernet setup. This is a slightly older one. So we're gonna go to set host name. We wanna come over here and oddly enough, this one didn't have a login. Okay, I'm gonna make note of that. This is Memorial Hall dash 208 dash GSW save ply changes uh, okay it's applying host name is applied let's come over here we have MH 208 DMPS 3 we'll leave it at DMPS 3 that's okay that's nothing to be concerned with um, so let me pull up, uh, let me pull up notepad here, MH208, uh, just tilt the camera, uh, tilt the camera, let go of it, does not have login set. Set up needs login setup. All right, we'll save this. Um, classroom check notes. We'll save it to our desktop. All right, minimize that. And we'll come over here. So changes have been applied, save and exit. Exiting setup. So that was one. So there we go. There's, this is why I was asked to do this is because we have a few of these like this. And because of the way that host name is still set at the default, we have absolutely no idea what touch, where they are, or for that matter, what they are um, specifically. So yeah all we know is it was a touch panel with that mac address what touch panel uh model and where it is no idea especially where it is so so we're exited we can shut the system down now projector is turning off dmps was okay so get out of the chair oh goodness this is gonna be a long video unplug from the dmps close the cabinet Turn off the light and on to the next room we go. So yeah, like I said, this is gonna take a few minutes in each room. Um, no study hall. Uh, mate, don't be hanging stuff in the windows. Systems on. computer down let's do this turn the camera away we'll go ahead and get our uh, touch panel loading into the admin screen that's a phone number really guys I'm probably gonna have to cut that out of the video okay anyway if I cut that out of the video um, if I start the video here uh, it's because there's some information on that board. It's got a phone number. Um, I don't want that uh, getting out. So, well, 
you know what? If he's going to be dumb enough to leave it on the board, he can be dumb enough to let it get captured on video because, yeah. Anyway, let me point the camera away here because I got to type in. This one has authentication enabled. So um, let me plug in the DMPS. We'll go ahead and set it to discover. While that's going on, I'll log in. So give me a moment. If I can hold on to the cables. All right. Port is in, discover devices, username. No. Squeeze me. Okay, that's unusual. This one says administrative credentials. There should only be one. So I need to make note of that. Okay, so it does not accept admin credentials. Come over here, Memorial Hall 209 DMPS, we're good. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit exit, it's gonna exit setup, and it's gonna go back. The system needs to be turned off, so it should bring up just like the other rooms and have a loaded system, and then we'll uh, be able to turn it off. So we'll give it a second, there we go, shut down. All right, everything's off. Let's unplug the computer. Let's see what time it is. It is 11.06. So let's shut that, unplug it from there. Grab the laptop, come on. Um, light switch is gonna be over here. So yeah, Cody or whatever your name is, dude, don't be leaving your phone number on a whiteboard because you never know who's going to walk in, especially with a camera, and find it online. So, mate, it's not a bright idea to do. Anyway, like I said, I may or may not cut that part out of the video, or have cut that part out of the video. But I, it just depends on if I, one, if I remember to, and two, if I actually feel like doing that. Um, because if he's going to be like that and just put it up there on a whiteboard for everybody to see, maybe he deserves to have it on. So, all right, that's going to conclude it for Memorial here. Um, I might do a couple of the classrooms in Dunlap. I don't know. I might, how many class? I might do Rogers tonight because Dunlap Newton Oaks are going to take a while. It's probably going to take two or three nights to do them all. Um, and then we'll probably eventually we'll do Hansford. We got to do convocation. Convocation's not going to take long. So I got four rooms, but yeah, I can't swipe in there right now. It's past eleven o'clock, obviously. So we'll probably do Rogers tonight because it's not got too many rooms, so that we can just go ahead and knock it out. So I will see you at Dunlap Newton Oaks, and we'll get going in there. All right, we're here at Dunlap Newton Oaks. Today is the tenth. Let's see what we can take down, if anything. Maybe everything's already been taken down for the 10. I see 13, I see 11, I see 14, I see 12. So 11, 12, 13, 14. We have one for every single day of the week so far, except for today. So, probably already off. Good, oh, what was that one? October 12th, okay, so. Just want to make sure. Just hit the lights. Um, didn't film coming in the building uh, like I normally would because some students out there. I see a window open. I see a chair backwards. Like I said, we're not going to do Memorial. We're not going to do uh, 
um, Dunlap Newton Oaks on the uh, special roster tonight, so to speak. That's what I'll call it. I'll call it the special duties list. Um, cause duty, um, because there's just so many and I would rather be able to knock out one building at a time kind of thing, like an entire building. That way I don't have to keep track of which ones I've done, which ones I haven't done. I'd rather just do it by building. So we're, we did Memorial. We're going to do Rogers. Um, we're going to make sure we do it like that. That way there's no confusion. Um, we'll see if we can do Rogers tonight. It just depends on how late it is by the time we get down there. I like those shelves. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, we're here in Dunlap, going down to the basement. Oh yes, anyway, continuing my story from a little bit ago with the senior project. So after I uh, familiarized myself with the buttons and everything in the uh, basic program went on to the main program. Started doing the same thing, comparing, comparing everything. <sighs> Filter cleaning will start. Okay, the system is on. Um, so I did that, and then what I did was I asked my boss if this would be okay with him because it is his work. He he was the one that built the program. Excuse me. Um, anyway, uh, I asked him if it would be okay to do this, and he said, yeah, go for it. That's 100% a good way to learn. Um, I reverse engineered it. So, can't tell. No, okay. Um, the light switch is on the other side. There. Um, so what I did was I got a new project, and I basically, one thing at a time, uh, started with the touch panel project because the programming on here is different than the programming in here. So, two different things. Um, the system is not on, it's just the lights. I don't exactly know why I came all the way down. Oh, it's because I had to check the projector. So, anyway, um, started with the touch panel project, figured out how to create the pages, how to create the buttons, where to position them. All that fancy stuff. Um, that actually is not hard. Creating the touch panel project itself isn't very hard. The only difficult part about it is um, the codes, the numerical codes that are assigned, that you assign to each button to tell, to do functions. So, stuff like that. That's somebody's office, so we're not going to go in there. Okay, um, so we did that, and then that one was actually, like I said, it was pretty easy to do because it's a GUI. It's actually pretty easy to drag and drop, things like that. Then, after I did the touch panel, I moved on to the DMPS. Now, that's where it gets a little hard, and to be perfectly honest, I don't entirely understand all of it. Um, that door came off again, and that one too, wow. Uh, but that's not to say that everybody who programs these things knows exactly what they're doing. <laughs> There's a lot of Google, Reddit, forum help like that. Put the door back up here. Come on. There you go. Um, <clears throat> even my boss said, yeah, even he doesn't understand all of the stuff that he puts in the program. So it does not make me feel bad. Why did that suddenly not, or suddenly disengage? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's because this is pushed in. Yeah, something like that. Oh well, we're not gonna worry about it. Um, so yeah, after I did that, I did the DMPS, and like I was saying, not everybody understands everything in the DMPS because some of it is really confusing. But essentially what you do is you create modules 
or you create uh, program um, chunks with modules and you have like and or exclusive or not nor logic um, then you can have timers you can have truth tables and um, <laughs> I actually have a truth table for the ballroom down there in Mike Cottrell and it is the biggest truth table that these things will support and even still he was telling me that it um, doesn't think it's actually big enough so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these things can get big, um, and they can get very, very complicated. Is canceled today. Please review section 3.1 for Wednesday's class. All right, that's an old note. We don't need that anymore. System is on. Ah, I forgot my remote. All right, um, I'll need to make a uh, note to remember to bring my remote so I can quick corner uh, room 14, the next room. Uh, was it 14? No, that was 14. That must have been 16. Um, this system is on. But, so yeah, what I did was I basically, I didn't like copy and paste. Obviously, that wasn't going to cut it. No, I was actually there to learn it. So, what I did was I, um, um, can't think, can't keep, keep all my thoughts straight. I'm sorry. Um, I went through each thing, each module, just top to bottom. There were some modules in there that we both don't use anymore or, or um, and uh, I didn't need for my program because I'm not creating, oh gosh, the hiccup suddenly came on me. Um, the, I don't need certain things for, well, I literally just turned that on. My gosh, I'm retarded. Um, force of habit, I do this sometimes. Anyway. Yeah, I um, did each module starting from the top, working my way down for the ones that I needed. Mainly we were talking like TV, camera, input one, input two, those kinds of things. Um, assigning audio and video channels to various input uh, hardware on the DMPS. And then we set it to do certain things when certain digital join codes are, in is, are um, triggered. So when you touch a button on there, it sends a uh, digital join trigger down a, a certain code. Let's see if we can shut off now. Yes, we can. Um, and things happen. So push the power button. What happens when I push confirm? It sends a uh, code down, so to speak, a code through the program. It initializes a uh, code and that code has certain subroutines that run. So I'll show you here because this system is on. So I hit shut down. It brings up a confirmation page. Hit shut down. Page goes back. Projector should turn off. Yes. And the camera goes to sleep. So what that hap what happens with that tells the uh, um, touch panel to go back to the main screen it sends a an rs-232 signal to the projector it sends the uh, um, shutdown signal and it sends a signal to the camera to go to sleep so and i think there's a couple other things that it does if i remember i i, I just i don't remember exactly what um but i do understand a couple of things like um, well, for example, you can have it, if I push, if I push, so the various input buttons are assigned to various hardware input channels, so like HDMI or VGA. Typically, we don't use VGA. Um, so a laptop can be either HDMI 2 or VGA 1, so if you select the laptop input, it'll make both of those active. If the projector is not on, it'll send a wake up. It'll send a turn on signal to it. Um, it'll lower the screen. You can do all kinds of things like that. Um, then you have logic for camera controls. So you push the pan and tilt. Um, so you can do that. You can tell it to 
perks of being a wallflower. Wasn't that a movie? Yeah, it was. It's a movie I would like to see at some point. I have it on my Plex server. Um, random table. Projector is off. Um, so you can tell it to do various things with the camera. Zoom, pan, tilt, those kinds of things. Um, you can also tell it to interact with TVs in certain ways. Mainly it's just turning on and off. Switching inputs, I think you can also do. Um, notably, projector freeze and projector blank buttons do not work with TVs because TVs don't. Displays don't support that. So... Uh, you can do that. You can do a lot of different things. Some really cool stuff. You can integrate with lights. Um, you can integrate with just about any automated system, uh, depending on uh, what you do. So it's kind of a cool thing. Um, but yeah, I went through one by one, found where they are, and it's just a big, long alphabetical list that you can do, or they separate it into groups. Um, you can just go, select the module you want, you drop it into the folder, of whatever you're associating it with and there we go and it uh, you know type in the variable names or the codes that you need and ah, my neck sorry sprained something in my neck and it just hurts every once in a while it's actually been hurting less and less this afternoon that's good I can actually turn my neck uh, all the way around without it hurting it's just jolts like that 208's on the uh, lights anyway and the lab is open up oh, we got a uh, dead computer we also have some white sitting there what is that looks like a whiteboard uh, it's a port it's a trifold no it's just a foam board somebody left it in here just shut the computer off it'll uh, end up resetting overnight we'll dump this on the table right here um, so yeah what I was saying I uh, go through and I did each each module recoded it used the same variable names basically reverse engineered the program and like I said I didn't include everything and by not including everything it means that I could be assuming that I'm leaving something out that I actually needed. So it's not like I'm just copying the program by just rewriting it myself um, by clicking through screens and copying what I think is the same thing. So yes, I'm doing that, but in addition to doing that, I'm also leaving things out intentionally that some things were obvious I don't need, some things were less obvious that I may or may not need. And there were a few things I'm sure that I had in there that I didn't need. Um, so things like that. But in the end, uh, it took me about three days, three or four days total to do it, I think. Um, and then I got a, a touch panel and I got a DMPS 150, loaded my programs. Um, and I think very first time I tried it, it loaded fine. Uh, but it, uh, when I went to power off the system, I think it didn't work. I don't remember exactly why. I think it was maybe because I forgot to actually assign the join code um, to the confirmation button uh, because the touch panel would reset back to the um, screensaver. But the uh, system didn't turn off so even my boss was like hey help me troubleshoot and he, I sent him the files and he's like oh yeah you just like I said I think it was just I didn't uh, assign a join code to it and he's like yeah you just need to assign a join code here that's all you forgot um, wow look at that that is old that used to be a divider whenever they put this in that used to be a divider right there it's not anymore well, it's a long time ago because that's a permanent wall now. Uh, and TV mounted, obviously. Lights. And so he sent it back to me. I made the change. Well, he didn't send it back to me. I, didn't say. Uh, I had it, but sent the reply back to me. System is on. What is behind here? Really, guys? 
Yeah. Scoot that out of the way. It's fire code. Can't lock the door. Um, made that change and yeah, it's done that to twelve. Oh, they got themselves some new shelving. I like these shelves, honestly. Somebody, I think, messed it up here. Yeah, it's not supposed to do that. See? Yeah, somebody, somebody got a crooked shelf or something, I think. Or maybe the feet are wrong, I don't know. That's supposed to actually be on this one. Uh, weird camera angles, I apologize. Just fixing their things. Um, so I made the changes, and second try, it worked. So you see how it all turns off like that? Yeah, it didn't do that for me on the uh, programming side, so, or on the uh, physical side, so I had to make some changes. I had to make that one change. Ooh, my favorite song. What did I say? Oh, oh, oh. Now shake me a meal, now you can see it. Oh, oh, oh. Say, yeah, yeah, America, Captain. Každý nový den sledu za mečtoj, ete davnu že stano boše če me groj. Gradu zvišen sta, toka na pjede stel, ete spartak s nami Moskva, za nami final. Se žove naše daro kaso, te še ene šiškate, Shushkale ze, ey, 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 pus nashe im yu znayu vse. Oh, 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 vsegda na pevoj pola se. Oh, 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 i nashe im yu znayu vse. Oh, 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 i mwisla jaya mjaka kak trafe. We take the trophy. We yu to us take the trophy. Man, I feel so good in that room. No, we love it. They all know we are Sparta. Anyway, yeah, I did that and it worked. Worked on the second try. Can you believe it? Why is this over here? Ugh, people need to stop moving our stuff. Glad that did not break. There we go. I want to ask them if I can take these wretched things off because they're just in the way in some rooms. Um. What is this? Oh, I don't know. There we go. Ah. Oh, 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 всегда на первой полосе. Oh, и наши имя знаю все. Oh, и мы стояем ярко как трофе. So yeah, I got it on the second try, and when I told my boss, hey, it works. <laughs> he was actually really impressed, and I mean, just happy in general that uh, he got the opportunity to, to um, teach me and stuff, let me learn. But honestly, we were all really impressed that um, I was able to get it working so quickly like that. In fact, his words, um, <laughs> the exact words that he used were, I am amazed and impressed that somebody with absolutely no programming experience with these things was able to get one working in only two tries. That was what he said. And I was like, whoa, I feel so good. Uh, these switches suck. They need to be replaced. Um, but yeah, he was going on about how he was so impressed that somebody with no experience whatsoever with these things, uh, programming experience specifically, was able to sit down and copy or backwards engineer his convoluted code and actually make a working program in only two tries. So, 
Uh, it was really cool. I really, really liked doing it. Um, and I remember for the senior project, we were supposed to only have like a 10 minute presentation. Um, professor could ask a couple of questions, um, things like that. Uh, the other thing with my project was uh, obviously the professor would like, probably like a live demonstration, you know, to show that you actually did something, stuff like that. Um, I told him when I submitted it, I can, you will not be able to uh, do anything with these files. Um, you won't even be able to open up the project and look at code uh, because of the uh, type of software needed to open this. Um, if you want a live demonstration, if you want to see the stuff, come up to my office at the alumni house. I'd be more than happy to show it to you. Um, he never asked to do that. Um, did my presentation. Uh, very confident about it. Just breezed right through it. It was not an issue for me. Uh, went right into it. Described everything. I gave a couple of examples of some of the code modules that I did. Went through those. And then I just summed it up with this is what it basically is supposed to look like when it's done. And it worked on the second try. Amazing. And he, I think he asked like one thing about debugging, which I didn't cover specifically in my presentation. And I said, yep, if you have a um, SIG file, SIG file, uh, if you have a SIG file, if you load it onto the DMPS of the program, you can debug it by viewing every signal, any point it's invoked. And so he said, okay. And I think he, that was the only thing he marked me off on. As far as I'm aware, I got the highest grade in the class. I got a 94 on that project. Um, and that was the capstone project for the degree. So I already got that out of the way. That was bonkers. That was awesome. Um, and like I said, I think he only knocked off six points because I didn't actually, um, in the presentation anyway, explain debugging. But yeah, 96, man, or 94, man. That was awesome. So anyway, you can tell I'm sitting here rambling. Um, we're done here at Dunlap, Newton Oaks, so uh, we're going to cut the video here. I'll see you over at Rogers. All right, I am here in Rogers. We're going to plug in up here. That's where our DMPSs are. Uh, you could just hop up on the counter, but it's kind of hard to do that with a camera in your hand, you know. I'm standing on the cable. I can't hold the cable because I'm a dum-dum. Smooth brain moment. Okay. There we are. Man, this thing comes right down. I won't need that chair anymore. This thing comes right down. Let me get logged in. me okay so we got a good host name here I'm just covering up the IP address just cuz um, anyway we got a good host name so we'll uh, save an exit out of here exiting setup let's boot up the computer Plug in. That's the VGA port. Okay, let's discover devices. So, I hope I may not have enough battery left to do this. I may end up just cutting the camera and catching you at the last room or something because the battery's already down to like 35%. So um, that's probably what I'll do is after I finish this room, I will cut the battery or cut the battery, cut the camera off and do the rest of the rooms and pick you back up when I get to the last room. So let's finish this room. So what do we have? Rogers Hall 103 DMPS. Verify room number. 103. So... Damn, Jacob, what'd you do? You must be a human. All right, Watchers 103 DMPS. So we are good here. We'll unplug, power off, 
And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera here for Rogers. I'll pick you up when I get to the last room um, upstairs on the third floor. So I'll see you then. All right, everyone, we're here at the last room. It is 12.30 in the morning. I am dead tired. So much going on. Um, a lot of rooms needed renaming in here. They weren't horribly re they weren't horribly named. They just had a couple of uh, non-standard prefixes or suffixes, so we needed to get rid of those. Um, so you're here at the last room. Uh, hopefully, this one doesn't need a rename, but if it does, why, why aren't we going to the admin? Um, but if it does, well, it does. I still have to cook dinner after this. I set some meat, some steaks out to thaw when I left home. Poor roommate comes back and is like, hey, dude, you got some steaks in here. Uh, you gonna cook them? You want me to throw them in the fridge? And I'm like, bro, I'm sorry, I forgot to text you. Can you please put them in the fridge for me? Why is that? Oh my gosh. So, um, yeah, so I still have to cook because I'm not, I'm not just going to leave them for tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and cook them because um, I already thawed them and they need to be cooked. So there it goes. So that's a thing. Um, I'm probably going to be up to like 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning, unfortunately. So I'm going to end up uh, coming in a little bit late tomorrow. I usually come in at 10.30 ish. I think I'm going to delay that until um like 12 probably I get plugged in here all right we're plugged in um so no that's not Better days never look back and say, Could have been me, could have been me. All right, Ethernet setup, set host name. This is R H dash three A three oh eight, though. It's three oh eight. Oh, it's on the door on this one. 308. All right, look, all right, so. Dash TSW. All right, so, apply changes. Yeah, ROG 308 DMPS3. So we need to change that from ROG to RH. So that's saving, log in here, turn the camera away. So setup is done, so we'll exit setup and we'll pop into this one, rename it. Luckily it only takes about five minutes to, uh, to rename this comfortable chair. So. It's not gonna be too long. It's not gonna be too long of a wait. What did I? What time did I say it was? Thirty-three minutes past the hour. So <sighs> I'm getting tired. Luckily, this is the last building. I guess obviously I'm not doing H and S. I'm already pushing it a little far tonight. Going past midnight. I don't like doing that, but because we're in the middle of one, we're in the middle of a building. We're gonna go ahead and do it. So. All right, so it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, I won't turn the system off from the touch panel. Yeah, I'll wait for it to reboot. We want Ethernet set eggs, but it takes. Oh, I can see I'm fading. This thing takes forever to load. I mean, you can still load. It's still loading up, oh, and it just loaded right right as I turned the camera around. So we want Ethernet settings. Um. Get rid of OG, and we want H, DMPS. Yeah, we know it's a DMPS three, so we take out the three. So. Si lo quieres, no lo niegues. Te quiero y cantar. It's waiting for ya. 
Already you know that you do it like nobody else. Just sing, sing it together. Oh, oh man, this weekend, hmm, Saturday, man. Saturday night I was up until 3 a.m. Sunday night I was up until about 2 a.m. Tonight I'm going to be up until about 2 a.m. That's why I'm going to go ahead and call in a little bit late tomorrow because if I don't, I'm going to end up waking up at like 8, 9 o'clock and it's not really going to be enough sleep. Especially because I've missed so much sleep these past few days. I just need a little bit of time, a little bit of extra time to, to sleep. And I'll come in. I'll have lunch before I go in so I can make lunch at the apartment. So I'll have lunch before I go in. And um, we'll just work a full five and a half hours tomorrow. So, especially considering tonight ran about an hour longer, hour and a half longer than normal. So, kind of all balances out. Let me go ahead and send that message. Oh, man. Is it done? Yep. So you can see it right here. RH308 DMPS. So it's done. We can go ahead, shut down, projectors off. Let's pull the cable. Hopefully it'll roll backwards and fall flat on my face. Um, pull the cable. And shut this up put my phone in my pocket yes i'm giving a play-by-play -play of exactly everything i'm doing because i'm tired all right that's it we're done that finishes rogers so that means we have nix we have young we have a couple of mlc but i think i can take care of those during the day um i've got h uh yeah hns i've got Dudlap and Newton Oaks. Yep, I think that's it. So, uh, get the laptop under my arm here. All right, so that's gonna do it for tonight's vi round video. So, it's gonna be long, I know that, but I hope you enjoyed it. So, pink out, that was the fifth. This is the 10th, get out of here. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, We'll be getting to the other stuff later on this week, one night at a time, one building at a time. So, all right, I'm gonna cut it here. I'm gonna see you tomorrow.
So have a good day, have a good night, whatever, and I'll see you tomorrow.